Hello, hello everybody, and this is a real exciting day. Yesterday, I figured out a way to hang some lights on here to light these, light this section of my rack, and then I went and bought four new 20 gallon longs. I've never had 20 gallon longs short side facing out, so this is a new experience. But what I am most excited about is when I get these tanks going, I'm gonna get the first new Neo lines that I've got in almost six years. So that's pretty exciting. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we've gotta design a filter. I have an idea in mind now. In my other DIY builds, we used Eco Plus 396 pump. This is the Eco Plus 185, and it is 160 gallons per hour, which I think will be pretty good for a 20 gallon tank. I've never done one of these in a 20 gallon tank before, so that'll be interesting because all my other 20 gallon tanks are just air powered or I have a few with hang on backs. So this will be fun. So let's see what we can figure out building a filter so we're going to build one and then i'm just going to do it times four and then that's the first step of getting these tanks going okay so this is what we have this is how the pump comes that's a pre-filter the sponge inside there and this little guy comes out so what and then it comes with see, it comes with fittings. And so like the bigger ones are for the input. And the smaller ones, I think that's the Yeah, this is the biggest one on this side. So that's what our little pump motor looks like here. So what we're going to have to do to incorporate this, because the bigger ones, they have better threaded fittings that connect to PVC. Now these are too small. So what we're going to have to do is I want to take PVC caps and we're going to slide them over these fittings that screw on. You'll see what I'm talking about, let me show you. So this is my favorite part about DIYing is doing stuff you're not supposed to do and thinking out of the box. So right here is our, we're gonna have one inch PVC on our input side, on the suck side. And then we're gonna have three quarter inch PVC on our spraying it outside. So what we got to do, we're going to drill holes here and here just so this guy will fit in here. So what I've done, I've got my drill bits. This one is three eighths. See that right there is going to be make a hole just a little bit smaller. And it's important that it's just a little bit smaller because when you go too big, you done screwed up. And then on the bigger side, this one is 5 eighths. So that's really close, but not quite. And then when you get it right, when you after you drill the hole, then I'm gonna take my little Dremel tool and sand out the edges, just little bit by little bit, test fit, test fit, sand a little test, sand a little test, so that it's super hard and tight friction fit. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So the first step is I gotta cut off these barbed fittings off the fittings that come with the pump. Cause those are just gonna get in the way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them off. Clean it up a little bit after cutting the barbs off. And we're going to do the smaller one on the spray part. We're shooting it outside of the pump and cleaning it up a little bit. 
And then we change fittings on the Dremel to clean up some of the burrs. Now we're to the drilling the hole part. Now it's important that you turn your drill brake all the way down because you just want to barely push on there. You don't want pressure on there. I've done. A, I've drilled a lot of holes in the PVC with these drill bits, and you just barely want it to scrape out. You want the, the blade on the bit to carve out the PVC because if you don't do it real easy and turn your brake down. You're just going to rip it out and chunk it up and it's going to look like crap and you're not going to have anything usable. It's going to go nice and slow and easy as you can. So this is the tricky part. We got our hole just a little bit too small on purpose. Then we come back through with our Dremel. And we sand it out just a little bit, sand it, and then we check and see if it fits. Still, a little, it needs to be a little bigger. Really getting some out now. Let's check again. Getting close. Getting close. Almost got it. Sand up just a hair more. If you sand too much, <laughs> it's gonna be loose and you're it's no good after that point. Stop it. Alright. I can't push it in my hand, so now we tap it in with the hammer. And boom, done. And there you can see we have the four pieces that go on the output. And the four pieces that go on the suck side. I did end up putting a bead of super glue just in case, there's one of them that I could kind of move. I didn't get it perfect. It was still in there really tight, but I didn't want it becoming an issue. So I think that's good. I just put a bead of super glue and hit it with activator. So then it dried instantly. That's pretty cool. All right. So this is how it's going to work. There's a little piece of PVC pipe put in there. And then we've got this elbow and this piece here. And then we have a sponge filter that will go like so. And then we have a cap that will go on there like that. And that will be how we're going to do the intake side. So now what we got to do is cut slots, drill holes, do something. We got to do something so that the water can flow through that pipe right there. We go through the sponge, through the pipe. And then the pump, not the pump. So here's how I did this part. I cut a bunch of slots in it with my saw and took my little Dremel and cut bigger on both sides there. So then this will go down in like so. The sponge goes on here like that and then we put our cap on here 
like that. And there is the intake side complete. Now we get to worry about doing the spray bar and stuff like that inside the tank. And then here you can see the output I've got going on here. Look at that. I just did a slot for a spray bar. So that's new with the smaller pump. See how that works out. So it's just a, that little fitting we made with the fitting that come with the pump and the PVC cap going up to there. An elbow, an elbow, elbow, another elbow. And then down here we have a cap. So that's gonna be it. What we will do, so this will be glued. This won't be glued. This won't be glued, but then this will be glued and then everything else will be glued all the way down. So there's one. So now I just gotta <laughs> cut out pieces and make three more. And here it is with the filters done. See that? I think this will do really good. So what's left is painting. Then I gotta go underneath the house and reinforce the floor before I put any more <laughs> up here. But alrighty. We're coming along. This was the hardest day I had to invent a new way of doing it with a different little pump and the new size tank never done it for. Experimented with the cut slot for the spray bar. So I think this will be interesting. We'll have lots more shrimp, new Neos coming. I'm excited. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.